I want to touch on something that David Lynch said, and it relates to kind of everything we've been talking about this whole time. I'll first tell you what he said, and then you can give me your thoughts and you can maybe share, because I know you're also a film guy, which I want to explore a little bit in a moment. So uh, th- t- tell me what you think of this. Uh, I think this is very accurate. David Lynch said creativity is like there's a man in another room who has a complete puzzle and the puzzle's fully, fully worked out. And there's lots of, obviously lots of puzzle pieces. You can't get into that room and you can't speak to that man and he can't slide the full image. He can't slide the full idea through, but he can give you one piece at a time under the door. (laughs) So today he gives me one piece and it's, it doesn't make any sense. That first piece, that first fragment, that moment when I'm walking in the shop and an idea hits me, it's like this little piece, right? But then another piece comes through and slowly I can start piecing them together. And eventually I have this this image and this idea. Mm. Um, to me, that really describes that process of, uh, here I could maybe talk more about inspiration, right? Ideas kind of coming in, thoughts coming in. Uh, and it's interesting we use that language of coming in, right? Uh, like they begin externally yeah. and then we're they arise. Yes. We're just like idea <laughs> catchers. Yeah. Yes, David yes, Lynch. yes, yes. Yes. So, uh, what do you think of that? And why is Eraserhead your favorite film? <laughs> <laughs> well, weirdly, I might actually say that Eraserhead is my favorite David Lynch movie. Um, oh, wow. But um, look, yeah, I love that idea. Like, I love that metaphor. And I think that it's mm. uh, very apt, but I'll get to what I think it describes in a moment. Let me first okay. say what I think about David Lynch as you, because you asked me. Um, so, I really love David Lynch as a creative thinker. I'm not so in love with David Lynch as a filmmaker. I love his process. I respect his process. I love the guy. I love the things he says about creativity. I love the way he thinks about it. I mean, he's big into transcendental meditation. I can't say I relate, but, uh, you know, he's got his things. Um, so I love him as a creative. I'm just not such a big fan of him as a filmmaker. Like I find his movies difficult, uh, to access, but I must say, I think that he raised might, no, Mulholland Drive was my very first movie that I saw of him and I hated it and I still hate it to this day. I don't care what anybody says. Um, but Eraserhead is a great, I, I, the anxiety of that film is so great. I'd actually watch it again, you know, like uh, I remember making a mistake of renting that for a movie night with one of my first girlfriends and her parents, and that did not go well. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not, not, uh, not, I didn't know what I was getting into. But, um, you, might as well have re- you might as well have rented the human centipede. Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they were not impressed. I went off of the fact that this had like a lot of good critical reviews, and I was like, well, this must be a good movie. Um, but yeah, yeah that, was, that did not uh, go down well. But... What David Lynch is saying here about uh, this guy in the other room with the puzzle, what I think that refers to is not necessarily a single creative idea, but rather the, the, the concept of discovering your um, medium or discovering your own internal artistic drive or um, your own artistic vocabulary. Um, you know, because the way that resonates with me, and this is actually something that I've also said about my art making, sometimes you paint something and then when you've painted it, you're like, mm, this is good. I feel a resonance with this. This is adding something to my artistic expression or my uh, output that wasn't there before. It's a symbol or a, or a way of expressing or a technique or a something that's adding to that rich tapestry of my output, Right. And as you paint more and more and more, or any creative work again, um, you discover these pieces where you're like, oh man, okay, this is also like, there's something really special about what I've done here that resonates with me. And each one of those pieces to me is like one of those puzzle pieces being slid under the door that as you grow as a creative, you understand more of the universality or the scope of your own process 
because you yeah. start discovering these pieces of what I like to say is your artistic vocabulary, like symbols, mediums, expressions, things that make your art or your output what it is. And yeah. as soon as you discover those pieces, you get to use them more actively in creating other pieces. And that is what builds eventually what people see as your art you know people can recognize your videos as one of dylan's videos or recognize my art as one of uh, monet's pieces because it's got that layer of vocabulary there that you've got a handle on so to mm. me the creative process as a whole on the at the outset of it you don't know what your artistic vocabulary is your job is to discover your artistic vocabulary now, I will say this, that I have found that like that pursuit of discovering my artistic vocabulary has like almost diminished a little bit, like over the last couple of years, like um, like I'm discovering my the pieces of my vocabulary less often. And that might be uh, a variety of things. But I do think that that is still a core driver of that process. It's to kind of understanding essentially what your art or what your output is about. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I actually have not seen Mulholland Drive, so I'm not going uh, to comment no on, on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I feel like there's going to be some comments telling me I have oh, to yeah, watch no, it now. I'm sure. I'm uh, sure. There's people, that, that movie has so many diehard fans. I think it is top tier trash. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just me. <laughs> Well, even if someone disagrees with you, I hope they can admire your conviction uh, on the topic. <laughs> no, but like I said, so, I love David Lynch. Like as as a person, yeah, I think he's great. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 fantastic, man. Mm -hmm.